Welcome to Power Tips. Today, I'm here with Kylie Kaiser, and we're going to talk about modern advanced buying. So let's dive in and give you some general information about this before Kylie shows it to us in a demo environment. So the screen right here is showing you how the modern advanced find works from the global search here in Dynamics 365 or any power app that you've configured. So it certainly looks and feels a lot different than what we're used to if you've been here in the industry for a little while. But first, we're going to talk about how you enable modern advanced find. And it's really quite simple. You have to go to the Power Platform Admin Center, and then you're going to navigate to the Environments area. From there, you're going to pick Settings and then Features. Then you're going to see a screen that looks like our lovely screenshot here with Advanced Find options. You're going to have to make sure that Dataverse Search is enabled, and then you're just going to toggle the switch to on for Modern Advanced Find in Model Driven Apps. The final step to this is the second toggle here. Decide if you want your users to be able to hide system views. So really simple to turn on, and we are going to turn it on for you right now, and we are going to see how this works and let you know what we think about the process as we're going through it. Yes, we're so excited. Um, OK, so yeah, here we are in our trial environment. And before we turn it on, OK, so right now the Dataverse search is turned off. So we also kind of have the old relevant search here. Um, so if we search for something, we're still we're getting back our accounts and contacts, but we're not searching um, in that top ribbon. And you'll see we do have some of these new features that are came out, I guess, within the last year. So users can edit their columns from right here. Let's add in their street address. How about? Which I think this is pretty cool that you can edit these things here, change that, add in my filters too, and you can save these, create this as a view if you want to. Um, and you see we have our little advanced find icon here to go to the old style classic style not old style the original style <laughs> advanced <laughs> find so lots of cool things there and i think what the admins are going to think is for us you know this download fetch xml is very helpful on this advanced find and we will talk about that when we switch over. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for us to be upset. Um, <laughs> just kidding. So if we go, come over to our Power Platform Admin Center, right? We're going to go to our settings. And here we can um, go to our features, I believe, is where I said it was. So first of all, we'll turn on our Dataverse search. So you see we have our advanced find here, but we need to turn on Dataverse search first, and that's what's recommended. And then let's go ahead and turn on our modern advanced find, and we'll turn on this system views thing. So you can see what all those things look like. I'm gonna save this guy. We will wait patiently, and then we will refresh and hope that everything appears as we expect it to, right? <laughs> this guy. Okay, I don't think we are seeing it yet because this is going to disappear. Let's try one more time. I don't think this takes, you don't need to publish, there but you, you do need a, a second. Um, I think it needs a second because the data of our search is like going through the data. OK, mm -hmm. but yes, you see now we have our search bar here. So it's showing us some of our recent records. We can just search and it starts bringing it up. So this is different, right, than we were searching before. And this part is just the Dataverse search. Oh, good job, good job. Might be still um, doing its indexing. It's probably right? taking a while. Right, but you see we have our advanced find item here. Yes, like my initial little GIF. My initial impression there is what the hey honey ho did you do to my advanced find icon that has <laughs> always been in the same place. It's all gone. <laughs> You're gone. Not but I think we can still get to it in the classic. So if we really needed it 
for like admins, I guess we can. But still. Mm -hmm. Oh, and so I guess when I search here, it's just going to bring me to the Table page search. I have for it. So let's search. Oops. Oh, hey, look, I can download my fetch XML from here. No, it's getting. Neat. Is how they keep upset. changing things all the time. They roll out they new features. Us. They listen they to feedback. <laughs> yeah, we can add in. Let's add in our state is something. Washington, because lots of our sample records are from Washington. Unclear why. Okay, I had I clicked too fast, so we're seeing both. <laughs> I lied to you. I thought that would uh, we'd see more, but maybe not. I wonder if they type out Washington. Maybe. Maybe I need some different criteria. That's okay. But and we still so it's still using our same. I guess the most of it is this stuff. But I think the cool mm -hmm. thing here is this part, right? That's that setting we had to choose if we wanted to turn on. Um, we can manage our views. Oh, they also moved this save as a new view was in the ribbon. So now it's here. It um, makes more sense to be there in the drop down, I think. Makes sense to keep them together. Yeah, so I can choose to hide some of these views if I don't need them. Which I think is cool. Except I am concerned about users hiding things that I want them to see. Yes, and possibly hiding things once upon a time, maybe accidentally finding their way there and then not realizing it's hidden and right. needing and some troubleshooting help. And thinking everything is broken and us not knowing how to fix them. But I do like <laughs> if you have a good set of base of users, right? Who's very, who knows what they're doing and is, mm -hmm. um, understands things. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's nice. And between that and what you showed at the beginning with the edit columns and the edit filters on a system view, I like that they're giving users more control over what their personal experience is. So it's not one yeah. size fits all anymore. Yeah, agreed. I think these this edit columns and edit filters, which is not really, it's not part of the modern advanced advanced find you have to enable, but it is mm -hmm. part of that kind of modern experience. And I think that is huge, right? Because users making their own views is like one of those most powerful features. But if they had to go into advanced find and use that old style, it was just way too hard. So mm -hmm. this makes it so much easier and so much faster. Totally what agree. else do you want to look at? Well, I think that this is really cool for people who are joining us from the Power App side, who are familiar with this interface. That filter and how to build your search is very intuitive if this is your world. I think there's a little change management that has to happen to us old school Dynamics 365 system administrators who have been using classic advanced find for Gosh, I don't know how many years it's been around. I've been working in Forever. Microsoft CRM since 4.0, and that's what Advanced Find looked like in 4.0 12 years ago. So there's been no changes. So if you are a system admin who's been here for a little while, give it a chance. It's like when they first brought out the Maker Portal. Some of us were like, no, what are you doing? That's not the form designer. But just like that made our lives easier. Maybe this will too. I don't know. But initially, I don't like it. I want to go back to the old one. Yeah, it's taken me a little while to get behind just using these instead of using the old advanced find. But I think I agree with you. Like, I think this is a great feature, but it's just the feeling nervous about my icon being gone. Um, just because that's what, just like you said, that's what we're used to, even though this is much faster. Um, mm -hmm. But I think in a minimum, everybody should make sure their Dataverse search is turned on because that's awesome and just kind of improves all your search performance. And then think about, at least think about your modern advanced find. Um, give it a try. Give Maybe it a try. you'll like it. Turn it on and, in Sandbox and see yeah. what you think. Yeah. We did talk about some of these, um, some of these collaboration features on other 
videos. So we'll have to try those out sometime. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So much cool stuff, just lots of improvements. And even here, like this Kanban view that showed up, I think I haven't played with it very much, but that's kind of new, new ish. Lo been around longer than a year, but cool, like so many cool little things that we can do here. And you can even enable like a calendar view here. So there's just so much, so many different things that they're doing all the time to improve our usability and to do all this cool stuff. Yeah. So we hope you guys have enjoyed this quick look. Look, I can't talk today. We hope you have enjoyed this quick look at the modern advanced find and how easy it is to turn on and we'll share some resources and hope that you guys share your feedback too. Thanks.